time for a story. Hansel and Gretel. Don't forget to answer the questions throughout the story. Once upon a time, there lived two children called Hansel and Gretel. They lived with their father and stepmother in a house in the woods. Their father was a woodcutter. The woodcutter was very poor. He could no longer provide food for his family. One night, his wife suggested that they take the children into the forest and leave them there. Hansel and Gretel overheard what their stepmother had said. They were very sad. Hansel crept outside and found some white pebbles. They shone brightly in the moonlight. He filled his pockets with the pebbles and crept back inside. How many pebbles are there? The next morning, they all went for a walk in the forest. As they walked, Hansel dropped the pebbles along the path. They went further and further into the forest. Hansel and Gretel grew tired, so the woodcutter made a fire and told them to rest here. When they awoke, they were all alone. But Hansel's plan had worked. They could follow the stones all the way home. When they arrived at home, the woodcutter was overjoyed. However, their stepmother was very cross. Later that night, she told the woodcutter that he must get rid of the children again. The next day, the stepmother gave Hansel and Gretel two slices of bread for their breakfast. They set out into the forest again. How many slices will Hansel and Gretel have each? This time, they walked a lot further into the heart of the forest. As they walked along, Hansel dropped breadcrumbs along the path. When the children were tired, the woodcutter told them to gather wood so that he could build them a fire and once again they fell asleep. When they awoke, they found themselves alone again. Hansel was not worried. He told Gretel about the breadcrumbs. But when they looked along the path, they found they had been eaten by the birds and animals in the forest. Hansel and Gretel walked and walked through the forest. Eventually, they came across an amazing house. It was made of gingerbread and decorated with sweets, icing and lollipops. How many lollipops can you see? Hansel and Gretel began to eat the sweets. Then, all of a sudden, an old woman came out of the gingerbread house. She invited them both inside. But once the children were inside, they found that the old woman was very cruel. She locked Hansel in a cage. She wanted to fatten him up and eat him. One day, the old woman showed Gretel the oven where she was going to cook Hansel. Gretel decided to trick the old woman. She told her that Hansel was too big to fit in the oven. The old woman leaned forward to take a closer look. Gretel pushed her straight into the oven. Next, Gretel found the key to the cage and unlocked it so that Hansel could get out. They were overjoyed. Before leaving, Hansel and Gretel had a look around the gingerbread house. They found a chest full of gold coins. They decided to bring the chest home with them. After a long walk through the forest, Hansel and Gretel eventually found a path they recognised. They ran excitedly along the path and finally saw their home in the distance. There, outside the cottage, was their father. Their stepmother had gone, and now they had enough riches to last them a lifetime, and they would never be hungry again. And they lived happily ever after. The End Answers. How many pebbles are there? Six. How many slices will Hansel and Gretel have each? One. How many lollipops can you see?